What's up, YouTube? My name is Wendy Von Braun. And I'm Robin McDonald. And this is our 1980s U.S. Army kit. Starting with the gun, Ro uh, not Rob. Wendy has a JG M16A1 Vietnam, new version, it's full metal, and it's a nice gun. But that review is for another day because we have not used either of these guns yet. Yeah, I'm right. Starting from the top, we've got a K-Pot, basket helmet, real Kevlar, with Manchu hair, and uh, cat eye bands. Going down to his vest, he has a real basket flak vest. Uh, it can stop pistol rounds. His kit, he has a basic LC2 kit, used by the Army in the late, uh, I think late 70s, early, uh, early 80s. No, it went up to, uh, I think about like the early, early 90s. Got replaced in like 95, I think. Something like no, that. No, I mean when they started using it. Anyways, this pistol belt is the U.S. Army version. The typical uh, buckle is what the Marines use. This is the Army style. It's a, it's a LC2 pistol belt with LC2 sure. suspenders. Yeah. On his left and right in the front, he has mag pouches. Each one holds three 30 round Stanags and can hold two M67 fragmentation grenades on each side. On the right side, he has a first aid kit, standard issue. On the back, he has a U.S. Ass Army pack. ass pack. He's got a butt pack filled with shit, so it's not whatever. In the back, he has a Bowie knife, which we're using as the stand for this camera. And on his left, he has a canteen. It holds one liter, I think. And uh, there's a little pouch for purification tabs. Then he has the basic... Uh, He's got the basic Battle dress BDUs. uniform. He's got a regular woodland BDUs. And on his feet, he's wearing black Panama Soul jungle boots. And, um, yeah. They use green or black. He has black. You can use either one, though. I have a similar kit. And uh, we'll show you that now. Alright. Rommel's kit is very similar to mine. Uh, right now, he's missing the flak jacket basket flak jacket that's actually currently back at the house uh, what he has he has the, Al the Alice kit the Y strap got two canteens similar to mine uh, butt pack e-tool or entrenching entrenching tool excuse me and two uh, three round Stanag magazines uh, for my gun I have a GNP fully Colt, uh, fully licensed Colt M16A1 trademarks nice gun but like the other gun, we're going to keep that for a different day, because we haven't used the gun. Another thing I wanted to go over was how cheap this kit was. Uh, I, how, how, how expensive was this for you? I mean, I you mean, have a little bit more gear than me. The My stuff, uh, minus the flak vest and the basket, uh, if you substitute this for a replica basket, it would be, you know, for the most basic kit, 150 or less, probably less than that. My kit was a little more expensive. It was about, about like, about 200. But that's because I got a lot of stuff. Plus, I got a flak vest. You know, you got to add that, and I got uh, a basket. Yeah, you also got a way more expensive rifle. Oh, this, this doesn't count. I, I just mean, but you know, it's a very inexpensive kit, and you can have fun with it. Nothing has to be exact. For example, if you look at picture. Sorry. If nice. you look at shut up. If you look at pictures of soldiers in Panama or Grenada or you know uh, Somalia, places like that, you'll see that you know they all have this basic equipment. They all have the LC2 gear, but a lot of their pouches are different. For example, Rangers would have four mag pouches, two canteens, butt pack. Uh, the regular soldier might have two. Uh, you know, they might just have a canteen and two mag pouches. You know. Maybe engineers will have, you know, medical have the medic pouch, you know, stuff like that. So there's no, ex you know, the most basic kit I would say would be mag pouches and one canteen with the belts and suspenders. That's not even fifty dollars. Yeah, how much? This, this for me costed uh, twenty-five dollars for the belt and Y strap plus two mags and the canteen. Yeah, that's really cheap. Twenty-five dollars. I mean. You can you can you can find deals everywhere. You can go on uh, surplus websites. You can go to Army Navy stores. You can buy new stuff. Uh, 
you know, like I got these suspenders for $5, the belt was $5, so it's extremely cheap and it's good for people that are new to the game and don't want to spend a lot of money, or even for people that just want to have a cool loadout that isn't extremely uh, complicated, you know, like with plate carriers, I know I have a plate carrier and like 50 pouches all over the place and I can't move, I've got my belt, so it's not a very cumbersome loadout, which is also good. If you don't, I mean, you have to adjust this to your body or else when you're running everything's going to flop around. But I mean, other than that, there shouldn't be any problems with, uh, you know, maneuverability and, you know, stuff like that. As for uh, uniforms, I mean, you don't have to go, you don't have to get patches or ranks or name tapes and stuff like that. I, myself, I have an 82nd Airborne unit patch, combat patch, and I have a, a, an American flag. I have a uh, Pacific Forces, or I don't know what the fuck. Uh, group it, it was, that is, but I mean, yeah. I'm gonna replace it soon. I was thinking of going uh, Seventh Infantry Division. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to like you know do stolen valor or anything like that. We're, of course we're not. not. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually joining the Air Force myself, and he's already depth in. Uh, yeah, I was gonna get Seventh Infantry Division, and I'm rocking out the uh, Manchu hair. So is he. So, you know, we're going fucking hardcore on this. You know, <laughs> trying to make it look very good. Yes. I guess. Legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, as far as patches, you can you can look at you can look at reference uh, pictures. You can look at uh, videos. You'll see a lot of people with no patches. You'll see people with only unit patches. Maybe you'll see combat and unit. Maybe you'll see the flag on top instead of under. So it's really flexible. I've looked at hundreds upon hundreds of pictures and videos, and I I couldn't really figure out what was correct. So. I mean, you know, it's a flexible kit. Everyone doesn't have to have the same stuff, every, you know. So, it's a cheap kit, it's a good kit, and it works. I absolutely recommend it, one, like I said before. And, um, is there anything else? Did you also uh, mention, you can, you'd also rock like an M1 helmet with this if you're going for... Oh like, yeah, I forgot about that. You can actually, uh, we have Paskets, another helmet you could use for early 80s, and even mid 80s if you're like going for a National Guard look would be like, uh, you can get an M1 steel pot with woodland helmet cover. Oh, they use the uh, M1, I think, up until like the early 90s, the National Guard. Yeah. You can, But you can use that. I actually have one. Uh, is, uh, we don't have it with us, but I have one. I use that sometimes. Uh, boots. You know, like we said earlier, you can have jungle boots, you can have leather boots, jump boots, you know. And depending, you know, on the company and where you get them, they can be very expensive or very cheap. So it, it's a very cheap loadout. Like we said a million times, we know you're probably annoyed by it, hearing it over and over again. And uh, I don't think there's anything else. I think we went over yeah, everything. I think that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great kit. I love it. I enjoy playing dress up at home because I, I haven't played airsoft. queer. Airsoft. <laughs> I haven't played airsoft in a while, but I'm definitely gonna go out to the fields real soon with all this stuff. Test and, out uh, this, these motherfuckers right test here. Test these fuckers out. On we'll have another video. Goddamn, fourteen-year-old commies. Yes. Yeah, motherfuckers comes. you enjoyed yeah, our we video. hope you enjoyed this if you guys want to see anything else or want us to create another kind of kit just uh you know like and subscribe and leave a comment leave a comment because Send us your money. if you don't leave us a comment then, then the can. fuck are we gonna do with your like and subscribe to know what you want